Kids are already returning to school, right? We're actually learning, though, that districts across the state are still struggling to find enough teachers. But Andrea Lucia found out for you today that part of the problem, it's not even clear how many teachers are even needed. Valerie, tell me why, uh, tell me if F is wrong. Students are now back in Texas classrooms, and teachers aren't doing their best, despite widespread understaffing. This is a huge problem. Eli Melendrez works for Texas AFT, a union representing more than 65,000 school employees. He's been working to figure out exactly how many teacher vacancies there are. But it's not easy, in part because it's not something the state tracks. The most frustrating part is that we know that they can. They collect all different kinds of data about um, you know, teacher tenure, teacher, you know, even teacher ethnicities. To piece together just some of the data, Eli and a co-worker last month looked at online job postings for the state's 50 largest school districts. How many vacancies are we talking about statewide? Statewide, we're talking thousands. The Texas Education Agency has created a task force to study the problem of teacher vacancies, and different organizations, including Texas AFT, have proposed different solutions. But Eli says they're working blind without any real idea of how big the problem is. It's like trying to solve a math problem when you don't even know what numbers you're dealing with. We found the TEA does track how many teachers leave the profession each year. And last year, it reported more than 11.5% of teachers retired or resigned, the highest figure in at least 15 years. The TEA reported the total number of teachers working in Texas hit its highest number two. What it doesn't know is how that's stacking up against the demands of a growing population of children. In a statement, the agency said staffing concerns primarily fall at the local level and the individual needs for districts and campuses fluctuate each year. Because of that, there is no firm number of vacancies to reference. Texas AFT says it's asking the TEA to create a standardized way for districts to report the number of vacancies they have and to require they do so. If that doesn't work, they may ask state legislators to step in. This would be information that the public would really want to know. I think that every parent deserves to know. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.